Now, let's look at this GED math practice problem. Okay, and this is our question of the day. Now, this is a word problem. You know, immediately you see a lot of uh, words and just few numbers, then you know it's a word problem. Okay, so let's go through this question together. It says, at a toy store, action figures cost $5 each. Okay, action figures, let's say it's A. So I'm going to give A is equal to $5 each. All right. And board games cost $8 each. I'm going to give board game as B. So B is equal to $8. It's always good when you're reading, you try to interpret, you know, the question as you go. All right. It now says, this is a full stop. It now says, if Sarah bought a total of 10 items, all right, a total of 10 items, that is action figures and board game. All right. So that means A plus B is equal to 10, total of 10 items, okay? And paid $62. How many action figures did she buy? So look at this. If Sarah bought a total of 10 items, which we represented as this, you know, this is like a word problem where you try to uh, interpret it in equation format, all right? And paid $62, all right, $62 meaning that A, all right, A times $5, that's, let's say uh, we have $5 times A plus $8 times B is equal to what, 62, all right? So the total price of the, um, we don't know the amount of action figures. We don't know the amount of board games. That's why we represented them as A and B. So $5 times the total unknown of action figures plus eight dollars times the total unknown of board game then when we add them up it should give us 62 dollars so we have like two equations here now that we can play around with so to give us our answer we're asked to find how many action figures did she buy so we're looking for a all right so let us do this is our equation one to our equation two so from here i can simply put since I'm looking for uh, A, okay, what do I do? All right, all I need to do is I will just make from here B the subject of formula, okay? How do I mean me? So since I have A plus B is equal to 10, all right, this is the easiest equation, all right? I will take A to the other side. So it becomes B is equal to 10 minus a remember in equation when you're taking a to the other side it becomes minus a negative a all right so wherever i see b in the second equation i'm going to put 10 minus a are you following me wherever i see b in the second equation i'm going to put 10 minus a so i come here i have 5a plus there's a b here so i do eight in parentheses 10 minus a close the parentheses equal to 62. so i now have 5 a i would have to open up this parentheses so eight times 10 it's what 80 i hope you remember your uh opening up of of this bracket okay so i will have eight positive a times this negative a that's a negative 8a equal to 62. I'm going to take the numbers to this side and leave those, you know, leave everything with the variables on this side. So let me see where I can do this. Um, that will be clear. Let me come up here. So I'm going to have here, I'm going to have left 5a uh, minus 8a equal to 62 minus 80 because I'm taking 80 to this side. Do you see that? What is 5a minus 8a? That will give me a negative 3a. And what is um, 62 minus 80? What would that give us? That would give us a negative. Uh, that would give us an 8, right? And, and that would give us an 18, okay? So that's a negative 18. So to get our A, what do we do? We have to now divide both sides by this negative 3. So I'll do a negative 3, sorry. Do a negative 3 here. This negative will cancel this negative. We have an A equal to this negative will cancel out this negative and 18 divided by 3 is a 6 okay so our a is 6 so our right answer here is option a okay 
I'm sure you, you want to know what's the fastest way to do this because this is way too hard, right? Okay, okay, just hold on for the next video. I'm going to show you the fastest way you can quickly just get this through, you know, manipulating your, your, your option, your answers here to just get your answer. All right. So, but for now, um, if you're interested in joining our intensive GED online classes, okay, where we charge $25 per month, you can um, join our WhatsApp group. The link will be in the video description box of this video. Also, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can check our website, dtwgdprep.com, for several free resources, notes, study guides, free practice tests to, uh, to help you out with your GED test. All right, so thank you. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for he's the way, the truth, and the life. All right, take care. You are destined to win, and see you in our next video.